after the intro with no drums, we come in with a hi-hat sizzle, and then we're just going to keep time with our left foot. One, two, three, four. Then we launch into that classic drum fill that we're going to use a bunch of times in the song and just slowly it goes like this. And then we move straight into a bit of a beat and there's a stop at the end of the phrase. Then we're back onto our left foot, just counting beats 2 and beat 4 this time, and at the end of this there's another great fill. Now I wasn't 100% sure about this fill, I can definitely hear like a 3 against 2 thing between the snare and the floor tom, but I think there's a bit of a feel thing as well. So start out with what I've written, but then if you want to kind of flam the together notes a little bit more and try and get more of a Green Day sound, that would be absolutely fantastic as well. Anyway, this is what I've worked out. Then we're into our verse, and the groove does stay pretty much the same, but the kick drums do move around a little bit, so I've transcribed it as accurately as possible, but I don't necessarily expect you to memorise every single kick drum in the entire song. So I'll play through some of the bars, but just pick up whatever you want to use, and then you'll definitely be able to play along to the song. Right before the next section, we have a fill that just goes straight down the kit. Our next section is over on the right symbol, but the groove still stays pretty similar. Then we're back into playing that great snare drum fill from the beginning. Then we're up to the bridge, and I think it's really important in this section to lock in your kicks with the riff in the song. It's not too hard, and it goes like this. Then we have a build up and we're building up into the guitar solo. So there's a fill at the start and then we're going to build things right up into the next section. Now we're into the guitar solo and the groove is still really similar, but I'll just play you an example of how it goes.
There's a fill at the end before we go back into the chorus. In this chorus, there's one slightly different beat. We're going to throw some 16th notes down on the floor tom, like this. The end of the chorus takes us back into our snare drum fill again from the very beginning, and then at the end of this, there's another fill just going into the outro. So let me play through this section. Now we're into the last 16 bars, which is our outro. I'll break them down four bars at a time. Goes like this. In that outro bit, I think hitting those crash cymbals in the third bar of each of those sections is really important, just because that, again, lines up really closely with the riff. Now let me play the very last five bars of the song. And there we go, that is how you play Basket Case by Green Day. I hope that's been super helpful guys, happy practicing, I'll catch you at the next lesson.